Good morning. Hope you are doing well today. I want us to talk today about uh, meditation. I've had a lot of questions and comments lately about um, thoughts and how to tame your thoughts while trying to meditate, which is probably the oldest question ever regarding meditation, other than just what is meditation and how to do it. As soon as you start trying to meditate, the next question is, oh my goodness, how do I stop my thoughts from just overtaking my mind while I'm trying to meditate? So let's talk about it a little bit. Um, first, I would say that it's a bit of a myth that the goal of meditation is to stop your thinking or empty your mind. But I understand the goal. Of, it's not really the goal to just let your thoughts run wild. So there, there's kind of a multiple things going on here. So when we're meditating, especially in the very beginning, when you're first getting started learning how to meditate, the, the first thing we generally do is try to focus on our breath or focusing on our breathing. A lot of times we just you know, breathe. We kind of focus on the way the breath feels on our nostril, at our, at our nostrils, kind of on the lip here. You might be counting your breathing. I wouldn't go higher than 10 and then just starting over. Some count to five, some count to six, some count to 10. Any of those is fine. But you're counting or just focusing on your breath either way. And that's really all you want to do. Some might be focusing on a flame or, you know, have their eyes open looking at an object, focusing on that. that that's fine if that's what you're doing. But the breath is usually the main thing that we're focusing on. So let's say your eyes are closed and you're focusing on your breath. Well, what happens? You, you start thinking thoughts other than your breath, because as I always like to say, the, the stomach digests, the heart beats, the lungs breathe, and the mind thinks. I think it was Ajahn Shah, maybe, who said the mind secretes thoughts. So that's what the mind does. The mind thinks. So thoughts happen. I always like to say we just, when the mind has thoughts and we're trying to just focus on our breath, I like to say we just gently swap them away. Thanks for coming. And we go back to the breath. Here's the number one thing I want to say about this. That is the practice of meditation. Thoughts are going to arise. The very practice of meditation is the practice of returning from your thought back to focusing on the breath or whatever you're focusing on. Meditation, the practice of meditation is the practice of returning to your point of focus. It, it's basically the practice of losing focus and returning to your focus. That is meditation. That's it. So if you lose focus and you return your focus back to 
your area of focus, you are meditating. We get the idea that meditation means we sit for minutes or hours and get in some hypnotic state of bliss. And no, that's, that's not meditation. <laughs> meditation is the practice of being still, focusing, losing focus, and returning to our focus. That is the practice of meditation. Now, of course, the goal is to have longer time spans from when we lose focus to have to return focus. But it doesn't matter. Don't beat yourself up because you lost focus. It's okay. It's, it's a lifelong practice. that that's that's the goal i want to share something with you here i have a slide i don't generally share slides but i have one i want to share with you okay i think you can see that so i actually created this i've never seen this anywhere else but i've identified four categories of thoughts we have when we are meditating so the goal is to be in this present mindfulness that's the present meaning we're focusing on what we're supposed to be focusing on the, the breath and what happens is we have thoughts and i've noticed that the thoughts kind of come in four categories we start thinking about the past maybe the history it may be something that happened 10 minutes ago yesterday you know this morning five years ago, 30 years ago, when we were a kid, whatever, we have starts out, we start having thoughts about the past. Or we start having thoughts about the future. Maybe we need to go to the grocery store. Maybe we need to work on a project at work. And we start thinking about that. Maybe we're in an argument and um, we start thinking of the debate we want to make. That might get into one of the other categories a little bit, but we start thinking about uh, where we want to go on vacation, or we start thinking about dinner, uh, plans with our family, or where are, where is our kid going to go to college, all kinds of things. We, but we start thinking about the future. So we start thinking about the past or the future. Those are the two kind of categories on a timeline that we start thinking about. When will this meditation end? That's, that's the future. The other two are kind of storytelling categories. And the, the, the one up top is fantasizing. Now, now this isn't like, I guess it could be real life fantasizing, but it, it's where we start having fanciful stories. Like maybe, you know, this kind of depends on your level of imagination, but uh, we, we start telling ourselves stories. Maybe our mind starts wandering. Um, you know, I went to the grocery store and um, what would it be like if I ran into the love of my life or um, uh, I've been watching Stranger Things. So maybe the, I don't know what the thing's called, the Gargon or something like that, whatever, you know, ran into that. And then I had to save the world, you know, that kind of fantasizing or um, we don't talk about this much in the corporate world, but. Um, and when you go to a lot of meditation training and stuff, they actually talk about how there's an enormous amount of sexual fantasizing that goes on in meditation. So it could be that type of uh, fantasizing. There's all kinds of things that you could be fantasizing about. Maybe you wish you played a great sport or something like that. You start imagining that your team wins it all, or maybe you're playing on the team, whatever. So all kinds of fantasizing storytelling could be going on. or down at the bottom of the chart, you have um, analyzing. This is like problem solving. Maybe we're that's where you know we're we're in an argument with someone, and we start thinking, well, what I should say is this, or 
or I have this problem and you know, there's a report at work and I can't quite figure it out. Now, this is where it's less about the future, you know, the timeline wise, but we're analyzing problems. We're trying to figure things out. I have a problem and I'm trying to solve the problem. I'm having an argument or um, uh, I have a financial situation trying to figure that out. Or, you know, I'd like to buy a property or uh, something like this. You know, there's just some kind of situation you know you're having a argument with your uh, loved one or a family member or uh, you're trying to figure out the economy or a political situation a discussion like that so so there's this analyzing going on so what happens is our, our we're supposed to be focusing on our breath during all of this <laughs> and we have all of these thoughts past the future the fantasizing the analyzing, all of these things go on. The reason I like this little chart is what I like to do is when I'm focusing on my breath, let me get out of this. When I'm focusing on my breath and I notice, oh, I'm not thinking about my breath. I, I just gently say, oh, I need to come swap thought away and come back to my breath. Okay. But if the thoughts keep returning, or if a particular type of thought keeps returning, if it, especially if it keeps coming back, keeps coming back, then I want to name it and categorize it. What kind of thought is this? Am I thinking about the past? Am I thinking about the future? Am I fantasizing or am I analyzing? And that one thing kind of helps you put it in a category and then lock it up and then put it away and then come back to your breathing. What that does is it helps you notice what kinds of thoughts you're having. Oh, I'm thinking about the past. Okay, I'll deal with that later thinking about the past. I'll deal with that later. Come back to my breathing. And then you've made an observation. Okay. Well, here comes, oh, I'm, I'm lost in thought again. What kind of thought was it? About the past again. Okay, I'll deal with that later. Come back to my breath. I'm thinking. Oh, I'm lost in thought again. Need to come back to my breath. What kind of thought was it? The past, I keep thinking about the past. In fact, it's the same thing. I keep coming back to that same thought about the past. Okay, I'll deal with that later. So then you come back and you just keep returning because that's the practice. The practice of meditation is coming back to the breath, coming back and focusing on the breath. Okay, so now I've set aside 10 minutes to meditate. So I've meditated for my 10 minutes and I'm not upset that I got lost in thought because that's the practice so i keep i spent my 10 minutes and i kept coming back to the breath but now i have data david today when i was trying to meditate i kept ruminating on the past in fact it was uh, this situation in the past so i'll make a little note Today, I was ruminating on the past. In fact, I was thinking about this certain thing in my past. Now, here's what here's why this is important. Or maybe it's about the future. Or I was fantasizing about this thing. I'm, I'm the Stranger Things hero or whatever. Okay. Or I was analyzing this problem. So I'm making a note about whatever it was. Maybe it was multiple things. If it's a whole bunch of minor things, I don't, I'm probably not too worried about it. It's just my mind is racing. So maybe I make a note about that. My mind was racing. So I'll come back. But especially if it's the same recurring thought over and over. What happens is our minds think, right? Heart beats, the stomach digests, the lungs breathe, the mind thinks. But when we in life are really super busy, we don't notice our mind thinking because we're pushing the thoughts away. We're doing other stuff. But when we're still and we're quiet for our meditation, 
10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour, however long. Well, then the mind says, hello, listen to me. I've got something to say. And the mind wants to talk to us. And that's when the mind's trying to get our attention. So by being quiet, breathing, focusing on the breath, it's interesting to see what thoughts pop up. That's why I like after the meditation, I don't like write notes during the meditation, but after I might make a little note, what thoughts are popping up because it may be something I need to deal with, think about, work on, whatever. The last thing I'll say before we do a little meditation here is the practice being coming back to the focus, coming back to the focus, coming back to the focus has a purpose. And that is to discipline our minds to concentrate, to focus. And that discipline that we get better at, that means we're able to be better focused. And then we can apply that discipline in other parts of our lives. The ability to focus, the ability to concentrate. We're able to use that ability to focus and concentrate in other areas of our lives. That's the beauty of meditation. The other benefit is it relaxes and calms us. So there's a lot of benefit from it. So let's practice. Let's practice being quiet, meditating, focusing on our breath. Let's see what thoughts pop up. Will it be the past? Will it be the present? Will it be fantasizing? Will it be analyzing? We'll just notice, we'll gently brush those thoughts away and we'll return to our breathing. So we'll do that for about 10 minutes. Close your eyes if you would. Just be comfortable wherever you are. You can relax. Take a deep breath, inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, exhale, and just be restful, peaceful, breathe normally, focus on your breathing. You might want to slowly, with each breath, count to 10, and then starting over. Just focus on your breath. Thinking of nothing else except your breath.
gently returning yourself to your breathing. Take a big inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Gently open your eyes and return to us trying to check my time got about a minute left so hopefully you notice that you had to keep returning to the breathing which means congratulations you were meditating and you might have noticed did you had certain categories of thoughts going through your mind and that's just a good observation to have it means you're being present and aware. When you drift off into uh, another state, that means you're not being present. We want to be present and aware. Thank you for joining me today. Be sure and tell somebody else about the morning meditations and invite them to join along if they're interested. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time.